Hello, I am Julie Joy, and I have a message from the angels, as channeled by Ann Albers for March 2nd, 2019. And the title of this message is Love Feels Better. They say, my dear friends, we love you so very much. It is time up on your earth to resolve your love-hate relationships. You really love everyone. You really love everything. When we say you in this context, we mean your soul. You are nothing less than love. Herein lies a confusing point for most of the human race. Your soul loves it all because your soul knows that everything and everyone is the divine in disguise. However, you came to earth with very distinct personalities, distinct preferences, and distinct likes or dislikes. So while your soul loves everyone and everything, it is absolutely okay for you not to like everyone and everything. This is a tough concept for most. You have been conditioned to think of love as a warm, fuzzy, good feeling. What most call love, however, is simply feeling good about something or someone that made you or still makes you feel good. This is why you can fall in love with a job or a person and later fall out of love with it, him, or her just as easily. You love the job or person while he, she, or it makes you feel good and when they don't, when they trigger feelings of your own internal pain or unworthiness, you don't love it, him, or her. This can happen quickly or in many cases over the course of years. Only after you've tried everything in your power to get back to the original good feelings. We reassure you, however, that ultimately your right to feel good exists within you and only within you. No one else has the authority to make you feel good or bad. They can make it easy or difficult for you to feel good or bad, of course, but ultimately you are in charge of your thoughts and your thoughts give you feelings. It is a kindness to yourself to practice choosing thoughts that feel more like love. If someone steps on your toe, you could say, Oh, you clumsy oaf, weren't you looking? You heard me. Or you could say, Ow! I love you, but my goodness, please be more careful next time. One thought feels bad, one feels good. Your toe already stings. You might as well choose a loving thought that allows it to heal more quickly. If a person you love betrays you, you could say, Oh, you liar, you cheat, you hypocrite, I hate you. How could you? You hurt me. Or you could say, I truly love your soul. And I know you must be terribly hurt and insecure to betray me. I wish you would have felt comfortable having a deep conversation with me and owning your choices before you resorted to this. It must be awful to be so terrified of conflict that you had to go behind my back and undermine your own integrity. I wish you had had more courage, but I know you were doing your best. However, I love and respect myself, and this is a behavior I want in my life. Either resolve this with me, or go your way in peace. One train of thoughts feels horrible. One feels loving and peaceful, albeit sad. The way to love even when you don't like is to realize that each soul is on a journey of discovering their light and truth, just as you are. Each soul has their own wounds, their own challenges, and their own blind spots. Each soul is doing the best they can in any given moment. Acknowledge the love and light trying to emerge within all souls, but be honest with yourself about whether or not you like them. Respect everyone's journey and their right to grow as they please as well. Respect your own journey and, and the right to grow as you please. Allow others to live as they choose. Grant yourself the right to live as you choose. If each of you were to remain lovingly in integrity with your own spirit, you would all sort yourself out into communities of like mind. Making a choice to love involves spiritual maturity. You have to give up wishing that people would be who you want them to be. You have to give up being angry with others for not being whom you want. 
You must choose to honor the light within yourself, even when you are not being who you wish you could be. As you go through life, say to yourself, others are who they are. Life is as it is. I am who I am. What next? What is the most self-loving thing I can do, given the circumstances right now? Can I focus on the light within another and dialogue kindly or walk away if the interaction doesn't resonate? It is far easier to love when life makes it easy. Nonetheless, if you can love the light within each other, even when you don't like their personality or behavior, you will set yourself free. You already do this in many ways. You can love a child who is misbehaving even when you don't like their behavior because you see who they really are. You can love your dog or cat even when they make a mess because you know the purity of love that lives within them. You can love a fixer-upper house because you see the light and beauty within waiting to emerge. What if? What if all those human beings you don't feel terribly loving about are simply ones you love who are misbehaving, making messes and fixer-uppers that you just don't feel like tackling? Can you focus on the truth within them and love that even if you don't like, even if you must set a healthy boundary, even if you must walk away and pray? It takes practice and a willingness to change old habitual patterns of thought, but if you are willing, it will unburden your soul, set yourself free, and allow yourself to have a blissful, loving experience of life, no matter what the rest of the world is doing. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels once again, this was channeled by Ann Albers. Her website is visionsofheaven.com. This was presented on the Sananda.website as well as voyagesoflight.blogspot.com. I am Julie Joy of the Young Lightworkers, and it was my pleasure to bring you this amazing, interesting life experience message.